Good luck, guys. Recently, I was thinking about revisiting the touch powder project I did about a year ago. But when I went to check the chemicals, this is what happened. Usually, I don't show failure videos, but this one is rather interesting. Okay, the first thing that tips me off is this iodine stain on the label. This is a strong indication that some sort of leakage has occurred during the last year of storage. Wait a second. If I remember it correctly, I feel this fell all the way to its top. Now as you can see, there is a very noticeable empty space. Okay, let's unscrew the cap. The cap looks fairly dirty from the annihilation of iodine over the past year, but uh, the whole structure still looks intact. Okay, the ring is not as dirty as I expected. It seems like that the leakage did not occur here. I wonder where that is. Okay, let's look back to the cap. This cap is made of aluminum and has an organic polymer liner to keep it watertight. Wait a second, something doesn't feel right here. This black mark here does not feel like some sort of dirt that's stuck on it. I have a very bad feeling about it. Okay, let's remove the polymer liner to find out what exactly is going on in there. Well, let me clean this up to have a better look. Okay, this is very bad. I know full well that iodine reacts with aluminum, but I thought the polymer liner would act like a barrier to keep them separate. Okay, this is a confirmation here. It crawled a hole clean through the cap. What is interesting is actually the way how it was corroded. So let's take a closer look of it. The corrosion mainly occurred at the hole, and the surrounding part was left untouched. This is a typical pitting corrosion, where the corrosion was extremely localized. The driving power of pitting corrosion is the passivation of a small area which becomes the anode, where the rest part of the cap becomes the cathode. The anode gives out its electron to the rest part of the cap and protects them from oxidation. Don't get me wrong though, this is not a good thing. Pitting corrosion is a major threat to a lot of metal-based building structures, as it is often not noticed until it's too late. The most infamous case of pitting corrosion is the collapse of the silver bridge, killing 46 people on site. Okay, back on our topic. To save whatever I have left in there, I am going to have to transfer the iodine into another vial with a suitable cap. Sometimes I have to learn things from the hard way. And a good chemist always label their shit. If you found this video useful, I would kindly ask you to subscribe. With more audience, I am more motivated to bring you more awesome science projects. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.